Hello my friends, today we'll cover a very important, though it might look simple, topic. It's the topic of validation rules. In order to make this class effective, make sure to do two things. First, open up a Salesforce dev work, and secondly, follow along and complete the exercises I assigned. Let's get started. Remember McLovin from Superbad and how he was asked to present his ID so that he can buy some beer? That scene is an example of a validation rule. You might know already why, but if you don't, wait a second and you'll find out how. In a quick way to explain you what is a validation rule, imagine this is, this is your house and this is where you store all your data, all your wealth, and this is your Salesforce org. And the moat around it controls who comes in, who doesn't. It protects you. And in our case, in the case of Salesforce, these have, this mode is a validation rule. So basically, what is a validation rule? It controls what kind of data you want entering Salesforce. So this is a mechanism for data control, for data quality. And the lady in Superbad checking McLaren's ID was like a validation rule making sure that only people who are allowed to buy beer can buy beer. But in this case, the validation rule was not good and McLovin was able to buy the beer. Have you seen validation rules outside Salesforce? I'm sure you have, but they go by different names. For example, imagine on the website you're filling out a form and just want to get through this form so that you can go to get to the next page. But they ask you, please enter a valid email address right here was a validation rule a company set up on the website so that they can make sure that at least what they're getting looks like an email address although it, it might not be a valid email address at, le at least it looks like it imagine you're the head of sales at xyz incorporated and for january 2019 you have a certain strategy as the head of sales you tell your sales team to focus on only Companies with revenues greater than 5 million, companies in the marijuana industry, and you want to make sure that the accounts or the leads that your company, that your sales team is generating, creating, have good phone numbers, have valid phone numbers. This has been a problem for you where you have leads that look really good, but the phone number was not saved correctly. Maybe some the district code is missing. So what rules can you put in place to enforce this? It's validation rules. For all this, you can create validation rules to ensure that accounts are being created with revenues greater than 5 million, that the companies can be created only if they're in the marijuana industry and only if their phone number is entered correctly. So imagine this. So you remember the requirements, right? Here are the three requirements. Imagine your sales team is putting data into Salesforce and here's the validation rule. The validation rule has a formula which a value is to true or false. If the validation rule the value is to true, the data does not go in, the user sees an error. Imagine the first scenario. A salesperson is trying to create an account that is in the car manufacturing business. Would it get, go into Salesforce or not? Of course not, right? Because it's the car manufacturing industry. We only want the marijuana industry. Next one, imagine an account has a $2 million revenue. Would that go in? No, of course, right? And imagine there's a phone number someone put in, 2493974. They didn't put in the first three digits. This one also would not go in. So here we see how validation rules are helping. And if the validation rule evaluates to a false, the data, the data gets saved. There is no error message. Once again, validation rules help you filter out data you don't want and helps you maintain data quality. So do you know where to find validation rules? I'll show you in a second. And I'll show you the key elements of a validation rule. So here, let's go to validation rules. We're in the setup page. Let's search for validation rules. 
I mean classic obviously. In here we see the validation rules for each of our standard objects, activities, campaigns, leads, etc. Let's go to account. And here I already have some validation rules from a certain managed package. And they are all active. Okay, let's create a new validation rule. When I'm creating a validation rule, the first thing I have to do is give it a name, indicate whether I want the rule to be active or not, give it a description, and here's a formula. And if the formula of absolute evaluates to true, what error message do I want to display? And then I can indicate where do I want the, this error message to display, at the top of the page or in a certain field. Let's imagine we're creating a validation rule for this one, right? Revenue must be greater than 5 million. Uh, revenue. Okay. I just clicked insert field. Make sure to use this. Very convenient. Alright, I'm looking for revenue. Account. Revenue. Where is it? Account. Revenue. Annual revenue. Okay. Insert operator. Create or equal to 5 million. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. I click check syntax. No errors found. Okay. And actually, this should be less than or equal to. Take it back because. I want I don't want accounts with less than five million dollars. I only want more than five, right? So if this is true, it's less than five million dollars, then the user will see an error. We only want accounts with five million, okay? And I want this error to show up on that field. Save it. Okay, revenue more than five million. Okay, I saved it. It's active. Okay, let's test it now. I'm creating a new account. Let's test it. Okay, here's the annual revenue. I'm making an annual revenue of four million. I have some val other validation rules which are kicking in, but the one that I just created is this one. We only want accounts for their new greater than 5 million, alright? So, this is another way to access the validation rules is using this shortcut menu. Mm -hmm. rules. Let's go ahead and turn the other validation rules off. So, they don't. So even though these validation rules are from a managed package, although I cannot change the formula or the error message, I can turn them off. So here's, let's try save again, and we should not see the other error messages. They are gone now, and only this one is left. Okay, let's try and make it 5 million. What do you think will happen? It got saved, right? Okay, so now you see how to create a validation rule. Very simple validation rule. Okay, how would you create the next one? We only want accounts that are in the marijuana industry. Okay, we're gonna go here. Only marijuana industry. Okay, insert field. Account. What's the industry? I need to add that field to the layout. And here's the industry field. Ok, 
okay i don't have the marijuana industry here but, but let's say agriculture i only want accounts that are in the agriculture industry It only allows me to save it if it's in the agriculture industry. Alright. And here's how you do it. Not a speakless value in the street agriculture. Yeah? If, so the area value is true if the speakless value is not in the agriculture industry. Alright, the last one I will leave up to you to figure out. You can Google for it. And if you are stuck, leave a comment. I'll be happy to help. Oh,